Hi Geometry, welcome to your guys' first online video. Okay, we are gonna start off with good old 301. We're gonna talk about lines and angles. Okay, first thing we gotta talk about here is what is a pair or what are parallel lines? Parallel lines uh, are any two lines that lie in the same plane and they never intersect no matter how far they extend. And whenever you see this symbol right here that says those lines are parallel. Whenever I think about parallel, I think of train tracks. Because if you're two train tracks and those are parallel, sometimes you'll see arrows on two that denote they're parallel. And they have to be parallel because, well, if they ever hit what happened to the train, well, they'd get derailed, right? Okay. So parallel lines go on forever, never cross. Now let's use this vocabulary we just learned. Which segments are parallel to the x-axis? Quick reminder, x-axis is this guy right here. So which ones? Is AD? No. Is CD? Does it cross it? No. E, no, it doesn't cross, so yes, they're parallel. Well, BC, yes, they cross at 3. And AB doesn't cross it. So parallel. Now let's see which ones are parallel to the y-axis. Well, AB isn't. You're going to see that these are kind of the opposite. BC is, CD isn't, AD is. Okay. Now let's try this one. Which polygons have two pairs of parallel sides while rectangle? Would you say those are parallel? Yes. Parallelogram, I'm going to draw that because look, it's the word parallel in it. Square, glorified rectangle, trapezoid? No, these are parallel, and these guys would cross. So, no. Okay? Alright, guys, don't forget, this is a video. If you ever feel the need to pause to catch up or go back and listen to it, you can listen to it as much as you want or watch it as much as you want, right? Okay. Here's the key part of our lesson, the big thing, the big enchilada that we're looking at. Parallel and skew lines. Okay. Parallel lines we were talking about are coplanar lines that do not intersect. Coplanar. So they have to be on the same plane. Skew lines are non coplanar they don't intersect, and that's because they are on the same edge of the box. And, I'm gonna make this more. And, parallel lines are plane, or parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. Okay, guys, your job to remind me on Monday is to talk about the slide again and show you a box, okay? Um, so big thing keep my parallel lines like for example AD is going to be parallel to BC okay oh need these guys on too AD may not cross BF but they are in the same plane this is on the top of the box this is on the side so those are skew okay so it'd be like AD to BF would be skew. And parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. That's like the top, the box, and the bottom. So like plane ABC and or I can't even put I can put parallel to uh, EFG. Again guys remind me to talk about this one next time we see each other so that way I can actually show you with a box. I'm gonna pause for a second. Remember if you need to go back and take notes, or if you took your notes and you'd like to listen, you can go back. Alright, sorry for this one being a little bit blurry. I couldn't figure out how to not make it blurry. Okay, I'll take my time and go real slow on this one. Give you guys a chance to write it. In fact, let's take it. One of these guys at a time. So you guys write this, I'm going to kind of mess with this color. I always like to use happier colors. Let's use a happy blue. Okay. You were looking at alternate interior angles. Cr 
crazy. Uh, I mean, lots of adjectives here. You have alternate interior angles. Here's a little piece of advice. If you're between two lines, you're interior. Okay. This is exterior. And so what we eat even out here would be exterior. Okay. So if I'm in here, I'm interior. Outside of that, exterior. Alternate interior means, well, they're alternate of each other. So that's why 4 and 6 are, because I have to jump over here. They're on alternate sides of this line that crosses, this transversal. This line's called a transversal. Okay, because it transverses across both these lines, line L and M. Okay. So 4 and 6 are because I have to jump over it to get to 6. And 5 is with 3 because I have to jump over that line to get to 3. Okay. Scroll down here. So if we're looking at same side interior angles, again, same rules apply as up above. In fact, watch this fancy camera trick. Oops. Oops. Nah, I can't do it. So this is still my interior everywhere in here. So if I'm on the same side, it means I don't have to jump over a line to get to the other one. So if I'm looking at 4, my angle that's on the same side interior is going to be 5 because I don't have to jump over anything. They're right next to each other. For 3, my same side interior angle is going to be 6 because they're right next to each other. don't have to jump over a line. Okay, I'll pause for a second. I'll get rid of this guy. All right, same rules apply. Corresponding are gonna are gonna correspond with the ones on the bottom line. So, like angle one corresponds with angle five because they're both in the upper left hand corner. Okay, upper left hand, upper left hand. They correspond with each other. 6 and 2 are corresponding because they're both in the upper right hand corner. Okay. 8 and 4 are corresponding because they're in the lower left hand corner. And what color? 7 and 3 because they're in the lower right hand corner. Okay. That's what makes them correspond. They correspond uh, their position with each other. And Last one we're going to talk about is alternate exterior angles. Again, exterior is up here and down here. Not stuck in here. That's interior. That's inside the walls. Okay. So for your alternate exterior angles, remember alternate means you have to jump over that line to get from one to the other. And your exterior, so you're on the outside of the house. Okay, so like one. We have to jump over the line, and we get to 7. Or if we start at 8, we jump over the lines, get to 2. Alternate exterior. Okay, again, exterior, exterior. And then here's the interior. Okay? Now again, guys, if you need to go through this again, hit pause, go back, look through it, listen again. Um, if you have a question, jot down, bring it in next time we see each other so I can answer it. Okay, look at all this crazy stuff. Okay. Name one pair of, uh, of the segments or planes. So parallel segments, if we're looking at AB, which is this guy back here, you actually have uh, two answers we can use that are parallel to AB because they have to be called planar so it has to be either EF or the other one would have been you could have said DC we'll put that on the side skew lines okay this line this segment is in high definition it's an HD 
So HD is this guy right here. So again, we have two answers. Has to be on the same plane, so we can use GC or EA. And last but not least, oh, take back. I'll take a ball for that one, Jonas. You can say ball. Skew. HD, I have a lot of choices. I can do FB, because remember, skew means that they do not cross. And they do not are not in the same plane, so I can do those. I could have also done FG or a bunch of other different combinations. EF wouldn't have worked. Okay. Parallel planes. A B C D is the bottom of my box. So I have to think what's the top of my box on the opposite side? Well that's E F G, right? Okay, now for pairs of each angles. Alternate interior. So we look at eight. Alternate means we have to jump over and we have to stay inside. So six is alternate interior. So you jump over to six. Okay. What about same side interior? So we look at eight. We are not jumping over, but we're going right next to it, and we got three. And corresponding, which one corresponds to one? One's upper left hand corner. Three is the corresponding in the upper left hand corner. And alternate exterior, we look at seven. We have to jump over the lines and stay on the outside, and we end up at five. Okay. Again, guys, any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, bring them in. All right. That was our first video. I hope you enjoyed it.